guys, it's your boy, Barca Boy 103. Today we're gonna be doing the match preview for Barcelona versus Cadez in La Liga. Of course, it's the first match since the Frankfurt match. And this is all we have to fight for now. La Liga, we can still win it. We need Real Madrid to slip a lot though, but it's still possible. We have a big week coming up. We have Cadez, of course, tomorrow. We've got Real Sociedad on Thursday. And then we have Rayo Vallecano on Sunday. Huge, huge week ahead for Barcelona. Nothing but the three points in all matches, but of course, more specifically, this one coming up tomorrow. But before we get into it, make sure you guys smash that like button down below. Let's try to get the 200 likes on this video. Be very much appreciated. And also make sure you hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And let's get into it. Kickoff time for this match will be taking place at 9 p.m. local time. And of course, we are playing tomorrow on a Monday. It's very, very weird, but nonetheless, it will be during the regular time in La Liga. And this match will be taking place at the camp. Now, the question is, will there be more Cadets fans in this match or not? Probably not, but let's just hope that the socios, the coolest, the tourists, whoever it may be, come to the stadium, fill it up, and of course, support Barcelona. And the referee for this match has also been confirmed. On the pitch will be Adrian Vega, and on the VR it will be Gil Manzana. Let's start off by taking a look at the league table. Barcelona are currently sat in second place in La Liga on 60 points. After playing 30 games, we have 17 wins, 9 draws, and 4 losses. But if you look at our last 5 games in the league, a perfect record, 5 out of 5, 5 wins, the best in the top 5. First place Real Madrid, 72 points. Of course, they have played one more game than us. Right now, we are 12 points off. If we win that match, it comes down to 9. It's going to be tough to win the league when you remember to slip a lot. And of course, Sevilla are on right behind us as well on the same amount of points with one more game played. And also, Atletico Madrid right behind us as well. Same with Betis, but Betis played two more games. This, the league table is still pretty close from second to fifth. Barcelona can still slip out and go to Conference or Europa League. So we got, you know, most importantly, secure top four, get that Champions League next season. Because, of course, we cannot do that through the Europa League because we are out. That's the main objective for Barcelona. Get top four. Of course, win the league would be fantastic. It would be a dream. It would be world class. But it is very, very unlikely. But if it were to happen, it would have to happen this weekend. Because you look at the top teams, who they face this weekend. Real Sociedad and Real Betis already played on Friday. That game drew nil nil. Perfect Barcelona. Atletico Madrid play Espanyol today. And also, this is the big one. Sevilla host Real Madrid at the Ramon Sanchez P1. Of course, Real Madrid played 120 minutes against Chelsea midweek in the Champions League. Benzema's out. Marcelo's out. Mendy's out. Casemiro suspended. Their team is pretty thin. And of course, they had a big match midweek. If they don't drop points in this match, I think the league is over. They have to drop points. Whether it's a loss or a draw, they have to drop points. If they win... I think it will be difficult for Barcelona to win this league, but if they drop points, the title is on. But of course, it still will be difficult because, of course, we have to do our job and we have to beat Cadet. We have to face, you know, Real Sociedad. We have to beat them. Real Vallecano. It's up to Barcelona, but of course, we do depend a lot on Real Madrid dropping points. But the league is still possible, of course, until it's mathematically impossible. Now, if you take a look at our opponents in Cadet and where they're currently standing in the league table, they are currently in 18th place in La Liga in the relegation zone on 28 points. After playing 31 games, they have only 5 wins, 13 losses, and 13 draws. If you look at their last 5 games in the league, Two losses, two wins, and a draw. Not too bad form, but they are coming to this match as one of the worst teams in the league in the relegation zone. Let's now take a look at our opponents in Cadet. Now, since they've been promoted last season from the second division, we have faced Cadet three times. We've drawn twice and we've lost once. We have not beaten Cadets since they got promoted last season. And the last time we faced them this season was, of course, away from home in a nil-nil draw. Werner Coleman was still the manager, 4-3-3. Typical personnel that we usually see, Frankie Dion, Busquets, Gabby in the midfield. Mingetha playing right back. He played right back on Thursday. Des was playing left back. Demir was in the front three alongside Luke De Jong and Memphis Depay. I remember this match pretty well. It was pretty dead. I think Frankie Dion got a red card as well in the second half. There were no chances for either side. It was a very, very dull match. In the end, Barcelona dropped points. Nil, nil. Very, very bad game. And of course, a few games later, Ronald Koeman got sacked. We've looked at the Cadet's last five games in all competition. In the last match, they lost to Real Betis 2-1. They drew nil, nil Valencia. They beat Villarreal 1-0. They lost to Real Madrid 2-1. But they did beat Real Vallecano 2-0. So the three games, I'm going to take a quick look at and analyze in the last three games in all competition against Real Betis, Valencia, and Villarreal. Let's first take a look at their 1-0 win against the team that knocked out Bayern Munich in the quarterfinals of the Champions League, Villarreal. 
in this match, Villarreal were dominant, but Cadez came into it. They defended very well. They dominated the midfield as well, and they got a goal on the break. Typical being at home with the fans as well. It did help them. Mark the Bell's counterattack, and in the end, they beat Una Emery's team 1-0. Now, their last match in all competition was a 2-1 loss to Real Betis at home. In this match, they kind of went more attacking-wise, not more defensive-wise, and that did Hurt them. I think they did go 1-0 up and Betis brought it back to make it 2-1. Betis went all out attack. They're putting a lot of pressure. They won that midfield battle. Of course, the Cadets were very, very poor in that midfield. It also lost the defense as well. In the end, they dropped all three points at home. So overall, final thoughts on Cadets. They are, of course, your typical relegation side. Part the bus counterattack as they're fighting for their lives and every single point counts for them. Their current manager is Sergio Gonzalez, who's very, very experienced in the league. He came into Cadets in January after their previous manager got sacked. He's done okay so far but of course is not perfect now please look out for in this match for Cadez there are a few firstly their goalkeeper Ledesma has been doing very very well this season one of the top goalkeepers in the league their center back Lucas Hernandez has also done well and their best player this season on form is their midfielder Ruben Alcacer so keep your eyes on him and of course Cadez I don't know why but they have a lot of good attacking options firstly is Idrissi the winger he's I think on loan from Sevilla he was in the Dutch league very very skillful very very quick on the wings, he's very, very dangerous. And of course, there are two veteran strikers, Lucas Perez and Alvaro Negredo. These guys have done damage to Barcelona in the past. And of course, Negredo has done it with Cadets in Barcelona. So keep your eyes on those two. And Otto Anthony Lozano. He does well against the big teams, against the, you know, mid-table and lower teams. He doesn't do that great. I do believe he's a former Barcelona B player as well. Overall, they have some players to look out for as a unit. They're not that great, but they can rely sometimes on individual brilliance. Let's now get into the lineup prediction. We're going to start with the manager, of course, Xavi Hernandez. Now, Barcelona have a big week. We play, of course, tomorrow on Monday. We play on Thursday against Real Sociedad, and then we play on Sunday against Real Vallecano. Three games in one week. What will Xavi do? Full strength, rotation, tactic-wise. Who knows? But I think Chavi will go with this lineup on the screen right now. They'll go with Ter Stegen in goal, a back four of Denny Alves, Eric Garcia, Longlet, Jordi Alba, midfield three of Busquets, De Jong, and Gavi, and our front three of Dembele, Aubameyang, and Ferran Torres. Of course, if we have a Champions League final tomorrow, I think this will be the line that Chavi will select with everyone, you know, injuries and players not being available, all that sort of stuff. This is right now Barcelona's best lineup. I cannot see Chavi making any changes. I think with the momentum right now at the club, with the poor result midweek, I think he has to go full strength and go for these three points, especially at the camp now as well. I think that midfield three is locked. I, think, I can't see him making any changes. I think that front three, he could bring in Adama. He could bring in Memphis. The back line, of course, he could bring in Mingueta as a center back, but I highly doubt that. And of course, PK is too risky to play him. He could rest Jordi Alba for Des. I think he should, but I think Des is not quite ready to start. If Des is ready to start, though, I think Des could start for Jordi Alba or Denny Alves regardless. But I do think Des right now is not quite ready to start a game. That's why I don't think he'll start. But I think the only person who could really creep into this lineup is Des, maybe Adama in the front line. But honestly, I think Chavi will go full strength. And so that's the line that I think that Chavi Hernandez will select for this match. But of course, let me know what you think Chavi's gonna go with down in the comments below. Now I'm gonna show you guys my lineup, what I would do if I was a Barcelona coach. And I have made quite a few changes from Chavi's lineup. I'm gonna go through it. Let me explain it. I have gone this lineup on the screen right now. I would go with Ter Stegen in goal, a back four, Denny Alves, Mingueta, Eric Garcia, Des, midfield three of De Jong, Gabby, and Ricky Puch, and a front three of Adama, Luke De Jong, and Memphis Depay. I think that starting lineup needs to be rested. They have played too many games. They look tired. They look nostalgic. They look, you know, lack of focus. I think they all need rest. Of course, it's a big risk if I'm the manager doing that, especially against cadets who we have not beaten since they've been promoted. But at the camp now, against 18th place, this team is good enough to beat them. In the back line, I want Mingueta at center back. Mingueta is a center back at fullback. He's absolutely shite. I want to give him an opportunity at center back. And of course, Longo against Cadez, we all know that story. I do not want to see it again. I think the main player who's desperate for some rest in this team is Jordi Alba. I would risk Des. I don't think Chavi will, but I personally would to rest Jordi Alba. In the midfield, I'd be okay with playing Busquets, but I would personally go with De Jong as the holding. Of course, you could go with Nico as well. I'd go with Gabi on the right and Ricky Puch on the left. Give it Ricky Puch a run out. Let him see what he can do in that midfield. And of course, it will give Busquets and you know a very, very much needed rest for him as well. He's played every single match since the international break. In the front three, of course, Dembele was fantastic midweek. I wouldn't drop him again. It would be a rest. 
Varane and Obama have been playing so many games, they need to be rested. I honestly think out of all the front, you know, all the attacking players, I think Luke De Jong deserves to start the most. He's come up off the bench and done fantastically well. Against Cadets, who will go 4-4-2, low block, counter-attack, park the bus, I think he'd be great. I would go with Memphis on the left. I was thinking about Memphis going with Memphis down the line, but I think in the middle, he's a bit poor. I would go with him on the left and Adama on the right. It's a big, big move by me, but I don't, this is very, very unlikely. I don't think Chavi would go with this whatsoever. But this is not that I would select if I was the manager. And of course, let me down in the comments below. Would you rather pick my lineup or Chavi's lineup? Time now for my score prediction. What do I believe the result will be in this match? I have gone Barcelona to win this match by two goals to nil. But honestly, it could be a loss. It could be a draw. It could be a win. And I wouldn't be surprised. I do believe... In my heart and in my mind as well, that a draw is the most likely outcome, but I will predict Barcelona to win. I think it all depends on whether or not what lineup Chavi selects and also if we're kind of cool in front of goal, we have to finish our chances against Cadets because of course you don't get that many against a team like that, 4-4-2 low block, and they will, I guarantee you, they'll get me one or two chances on the counterattack, and if Longlet starts, you know they have a good chance of scoring. So overall, it will be difficult. We have to be very, very strong in that midfield, finish our chances, and also watch out for Cadets on the counterattack. It's going to be difficult, but overall, I will go Barcelona winning this match by two goals to nil. And of course, let me know your score predictions down in the comments below. So that was my match preview for Barcelona versus Cadez in La Liga. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. And of course, leave me your thoughts down below in the comments on everything we discuss. The main thing on it, firstly, is your score prediction. But secondly, and most importantly, for the lineups. Firstly, would you rather pick my lineup or Chavi's lineup? What do you think Chavi would go with? What would you go with? You're the manager. Leave me all your thoughts down below. And of course, make sure you guys subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the live watch along. Set the reminder on the screen and come enjoy and watch the game with me. Follow share for the match by my match review. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Big game ahead. Season defining in my opinion. Nothing but the three points. Take care and force a Barca. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs>